and welcome to the May edition of the Forensic Update. I'm Bill Duffin. Last month saw the expiration of the second term of the National Commission on Forensic Science. Now, the Department of Justice has opened the public comment period for advancing forensic science. This will discuss ways to improve the management practices and overall understanding of forensic science. We've made it easy for you to access the open docket and comment by putting a link on our website. The comment period is open until June 9th. Wearable fitness devices can help track your steps, calories, and even your murder. A man in Connecticut claims an intruder killed his wife, but police say they were able to poke holes in his alibi by creating a timeline using data from the wife's Fitbit, as well as the couple's cell phones, computers, and home alarm logs. This digital roadmap aligned the times when his wife stopped walking, sent emails, and when videos were posted on social media. Police say this evidence didn't match up with the timeline he told police. The man was arrested and is now awaiting trial. Technology is always evolving, and methods to collect vital information for investigations are evolving right along with it. Cellbrite, a mobile forensics company, has been working to create the Textalizer. The goal is to help officers determine if a driver was distracted at the time of a crash. This device can create a report of the last activities and timestamps on a phone. The company says this information can be obtained without a warrant, comparing it to a breathalyzer test. The device is still in development, but lawmakers in New York, New Jersey, Tennessee, and Chicago are all considering legislation to allow collections of this type. To understand more about what would make the Textalizer different than other mobile forensic devices, we talked with NFSTC expert Ricky Ruckman. Well, in the States now, the police officers need a warrant to get into the phone. Under this warrant, they can only get the specific information that they were searching for. Anything that falls outside of that warrant, you don't have the right to look at that information. But with the beta version of the uh, Textalizer software, you wouldn't need a warrant because you're not getting access to the data on the phone. You're just getting access to whether or not the person using the phone was uh, texting at that time. You can read more about the device on our As Seen on the Forensic Update page. There's still time to support this year's ROTC cadet class. This July, 12 cadets will fall in at our Largo headquarters for an intense two-week internship. From DNA to digital evidence, the future leaders of our nation's military will be immersed in a growing sector of our nation's armed forces, biometric intelligence. Find out how you can support the 2017 class on our website. That's it for this edition of the Forensic Update. Remember to follow us on all of our social media channels. Until next time, I'm Bill Duffin, and thanks for watching.